Ok, hello everybody, welcome back to my channel today. I'm Kevin, and today we're back to our philosophy this week. So today, our topic, we're going to talk about time. A different topic from the identified topic. I mean, identity topic. So today, the time topic we're gonna talk is a start topic that we will go to get to know about what is time in philosophical. So let's come straight into our topic. So first, before we're going to talk into how nonsense and how problem exist in time to week, we could go to talk or review against one more time what is the time in theories. Uh, so the time is the way we use to call something that only happened will happen or happening. So the time is just time. It means that it has a lot of way to go to like yeah explain about time but simply time is something that's going to move as it's not a physical thing but it's something that allow everything to move and if time didn't exist everything cannot keep going cannot keep moving or even cannot keep exist so that's simply about time now let's come to the details of time so in details, time has three parts. The first part is the past. The second is the present. And the third is future. So this is three simple parts of the time. If the time miss one of those things, it cannot keep going to be exist because the time will not go in to show enough of the identity that is mean in the world of itself. So that means the time if cannot show enough quality of identity of time, so it cannot be called time. Yeah, it's a little bit complicated, but that's how time works. So that's just simply about the detail of time. Now let's come to our main problem, that the time is something that will be called as I say past, present, and future. But still, in theories, a lot of philosophers figure out that time is having a lot of nonsense and prediction why would i say that because in theories of philosophical something can just be identified by one theorist for example in the identity topic we already talked about last video so we could see that it just can be identified by mind to make brain to make or body to make just one of those, I mean theories, not to make, sorry, just one of those theories. But now, when we talk about time, we could say that it has three theories, that the theories about past, the one about present, and the one about future. So, it's having a lot of complicated to know about time. But let's just come into an example right now. So, there is a guy that don't understand why what is a contradiction? So we will go into explain what is contradiction first before we go into the conversation of two people to figure out what is the nonsense of time. So the contradiction is the way we're talking about something in theories that not making sense when they is have more than one answers and those answers cannot be exist together in one question. So that's just how contradiction work. So there is the way we are, this is the way we are going to explain about the nonsense of time. So we've just said that all events have all the properties of past, present, and future. But these properties are in come. Uh, okay, let's say that those, the, uh, those theories and those properties cannot exist together in one time. So this is why because when you are living you guys just live in the past live in the present or live in the future once a time for example i'm talking i'm recording video right now so i'm living in present if i say i used to play soccer when it comes to afternoon so that's been i talking about the past and when i said i will turn off my device after I record the video, so that means I'm talking about future. We just need, can go in to talk about one of three parts that 
exist in time. But according to the theories, time cannot be both itself. It means that the time can just be past, present, or future. But we use past, present, and future on to just explain about time. So that's the nonsense of time theories. You guys could see, yeah, well, maybe it's not at the same time. But that's not the problem. Because the problem is when something is identified, it cannot go in to change every day. Because something when something is identified as a person, identify like who he is, who is he, and what is his name. Those things cannot change. Except when those guys going to make a fake name or uh, fake information about himself. But yeah, those information is something to identify someone and it cannot be changed so easily. Or it almost cannot change. So that's the second nonsense of time. Now, let's come to how the philosophers think about it. So you guys can see the time have a lot of nonsense just in theories because in reality we already accept time as a way for us to know how and what time or when to do something. So that's what time works in reality, a little bit different and more simple than in theories. But still, the philosophers in this time really didn't know how to explain about this. The time is too complicated. It has something that's not making sense together but still exists in the real life together. That means the things that cannot exist in theories but could go in to exist together in a very good and positive way in reality is a very impossible thing. And you could say that it's a very good or rare thing. You guys can call it a legend theories or a legend being that not according to any theories but just going straight into reality but still that's just what we think about time in reality and in theories the philosophers still cannot go in to find out the best answer or an exactly answer for how we look about time in theories and how to explain it but for myself I think the best way to turn something into a simple theory is to understand that time is something that we use to call to know how and when to do something. Why would I say it? Because when everybody don't know how to talk, there's no things called time. It's just the sun go up, the sun go down, the moon go up, the moon go down, which means that it's just going to move. Everything is moving in physical. It's just moving physically. It didn't have anything to talk like how long we will take. It's just, yeah, it's just move like that. It didn't have anything about time to do. So I think one of the way for us to explain about time, maybe I don't, maybe it's a little bit too, uh, yeah, maybe it's too bit and maybe it's very silly because it's not so complicated and it's not the real answer that we need but I think the time is things that we use to try to identify something that going to tell us when to do something and of course when we try to use something in real life to have us for our purpose so that thing didn't need to be good or be making sense on theories because the way that the time is it's depending on how people thinking it is. For example, people like philosophers go into question and try to answer everything. So that's why they cannot answer this question. But for simple people, they will just thinking, yeah, time is when the sun moving down and the moon going up. So when I look at time, I would know when I should go home. So I think one of the ways that we could create another way to thinking about time that the time is something that people try to mention for their friends or for the society to know when or how to control something that will go in to let them have the plans. So that means the times that been made by something not human like God or the human themselves to control the plans, control the brain to making plans to do something in order. 
So that's just simply how I think about cats. Of course, I know it's very silly because it's not exactly at all. And also, it's not leading to any answer, but still, I think that is a good and interesting point that you guys could use to study about time. I don't know, could it help or not, but still, yeah. That's all for my video today. Thank you for listening, and I'll see you guys on my next video. And I'll see you guys on my next video. See ya!